In this video, we're going to look at quadrilaterals. We're going to look at their names and we're going to look at the properties of each of the quadrilaterals. So first of all, you've got a square, you've got a rectangle, a rhombus, a trapezium, a parallelogram, and a kite. So these are the six different quadrilaterals you may be asked about in exams. Let's start off by looking at the square. So first of all, square. A square has got four equal sides. So each one of the sides is of the same length. There's four right angles. So there's four 90 degree angles. And also there's four lines of symmetry. Okay, so a square has four equal sides, four right angles and four lines of symmetry. Next, a rectangle. A rectangle has got four right angles. So just like the square's got four right angles, but this time only the opposite sides are of equal length. So the top and the bottom will be of the same length and the left hand side and the right hand side will be of equal length. And this shape only has two lines of symmetry, a vertical line of symmetry and a horizontal line of symmetry. So that's a rectangle. Okay, a rhombus. Rhombus, like a square, does have four equal sides, but the, the angles aren't all the same. The opposite angles are equal. So this angle on the right-hand side will be the same as the angle on the left-hand side. The angle on the top will be the same as the angle on the bottom. The opposite sides are parallel to each other then, and it has two lines of symmetry, a vertical line of symmetry and a horizontal line of symmetry, if it's like this, okay? So in this arrangement, it has one line of symmetry that way and one line of symmetry that way. So a rhombus has four equal sides and the opposite angles are the same as each other. Next, a trapezium. Now, there's lots of different types of trapezium. You could have a right angle trapezium. You could have a regular trapezium like this, which does have a line of symmetry. You can have uh, lots of different types of trapezium. The main uh, property of a trapezium is that it has one pair of parallel lines. So here you can see the top line is parallel to the bottom line. If it has two pairs of parallel lines, it's then a parallelogram. So you can see here's a parallelogram. The top line is parallel to the bottom line. The right hand line is parallel to the left hand line. So it's got two pairs of parallel lines. The opposite sides are of equal length. So the top line here would be the same length as the bottom line. And the right hand line would be the same as the left hand side. Um, and the opposite angles are equal. So this angle here would be the same as this angle here. And this angle in the top right hand corner would be the same as the one in the bottom left hand corner. And finally, we've got a kite. For a kite, a kite has two pairs of adjacent sides of equal length. So as you can see in the, for this kite, the right hand, uh, the bottom right and bottom left hand sides would be of equal length. And the top left and top right would be of equal length. It has one pair of equal angles. So here, this angle and this angle would be the same. And it has one line of symmetry. So that's the six different types of quadrilaterals. Square, rectangle, rhombus, trapezium, parallelogram, kite.